Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I am going to talk to you about the differences between direct versus indirect immunofluorescence. First, direct immunofluorescence. Direct immunofluorescence uses a single antibody directed against the target of interest. So why direct immunofluorescence is called direct immunofluorescence? Because the primary antibody is directly conjugated to a fluorophore. And what is a fluorophore? Fluorophore is a fluorescent molecule. As shown in this picture here, this is the fluorophore. And this fluorophore is directly conjugated to this primary antibody. And this fluorophore conjugated primary antibody is binding to our protein of interest. So in direct immunofluorescence, fluorophore conjugated primary antibody binds to the protein of interest. This is called direct immunofluorescence. So then what is indirect immunofluorescence? Indirect immunofluorescence uses two antibodies. As the name suggests, the primary antibody is unconjugated and fluorophore conjugated secondary antibody is directed against the primary antibody. So why this is indirect immunofluorescence? Because primary antibody is unconjugated and fluorophore conjugated secondary antibody is directed against the primary antibody. As you can see here, we have this is the primary antibody. This is the protein of interest. And we have here two secondary antibody molecule. These two secondary antibody molecule are conjugated with the fluorophores. And these fluorophore conjugated two secondary antibody molecules are binding to the primary antibody. Okay. And this primary antibody is binding to our protein of interest. Therefore, this is called indirect immunofluorescence because this fluorophore conjugated secondary antibody are not directly binding to our antigen of interest. Rather, they are binding to our primary antibody. And in indirect immunofluorescence, multiple fluorophore conjugated secondary antibody can bind to the primary antibody and that can result in amplification of the signal. Okay. So now the differences between direct and indirect immunofluorescence in points. The first difference is that direct immunofluorescence is a shorter process because it only requires one leveling step. Whereas indirect immunofluorescence is a longer process because we use a conjugated secondary antibody to, de de to detect the primary antibody resulting in additional steps. Direct immunofluorescence gives us weaker signal whereas indirect in indirect immunofluorescence several secondary antibodies will bind to the primary antibody resulting in an amplified signal species cross reactivity is minimized in direct methods because the fluorophore is directly conjugated to the primary antibody secondary antibodies may cross react with a species other than the target Non-specific binding is reduced through the use of conjugated primary antibodies. Samples with endogenous immunoglobulins may exhibit high background with indirect methods.